a message to light workers, October 13, 2017. By Carolyn Oceana Ryan. Homepage www.carolynoceanorion.com. The latest guidance from the Ascended Masters, Galactics, Earth Elementals, Fairy Elders, Angels, and Archangels known as the Collective. Greetings, Transformational Ones. We note many powerful and earth shifting changes occurring now, not in only the atmosphere surrounding Earth, but the vibration of Earth life itself including empowering shifts in your own individual and increasingly unified group consciousness. Some of you have been aware of the great influx of light that reached the planet, with an initial outpouring and new light grid creation that occurred on October 11th, over a 12-hour span. This light is unlike that which has reached your planet for many millions of years. This is a form of energy once only experienced in the higher realms and felt and experienced by those of higher consciousness, for millennia. It has come to the planet now not only due to astrological shifts and occurrences, but because human consciousness has called out with intention and desire to experience that which you once would have once considered impossible to experience on earth, except in rare moments of divine insight and revelation. This is what is meant by the term revelation. It is simply the opening of a portal in consciousness that opens the way for an experience or vision which your everyday vibration and awareness do not generally offer. You are aware of the Book of Revelation, known as the last book in the Bible, as if it were a definitive statement of the end of the old era. Though written in symbolic terms, this writing, much revised over the centuries, cannot be considered a map for what is occurring in these end times which are not the end of your world, but the end of an era. You are moving forward now, some days joyfully, some days with utter exhaustion as you experience the birthing pains of one bringing forth new life, into a place and space, time that is not entirely new to you energetically, yet new to your earth experience. Most of you have had lives in the times of Atlantis or Lemuria or in inner earth where the vibrations are still that of the fifth dimension or higher, and other higher dimensional earth experiences, including time spent living amongst earth-based angelic beings or the fairy realm. Yet you have not yet experienced the feeling, the reality, of earth life as it moves from the depths of density in the third dimension, into the fifth dimension. You are already seeing increasing fifth dimensional aspects to earth life whether you realize it fully or not. Some of that is a greater desire and even greater demonstration in many aspects of your media to tell the truth regarding what is occurring amongst the old power structure now, rather than obediently hiding the truth of what is happening, out of fear of retribution. Certainly, some of that still exists. Yet there is also a brave new stance taken on over the past decade or more and growing all the stronger, as the internet and other non-mainstream forms of communication take their place as expressions of consciousness that will not be contained or controlled to serve another's dense purpose. You are aware as well that those who call themselves white hats in media, government, education, medicine, and other areas of earth life, including your space programs are gaining an increasingly stronger foothold as they come forward with histories, explanations, solutions, and inventions that would have been suppressed in past decades, and violently so in past centuries. You are seeing unrest in parts of the world such as Spain and other countries where some of the populace are asking for an identity other than that which they were assigned at birth, or handled by an invading and occupying force. Do not be disturbed as these last vestiges of the old order express themselves, wherever you may see them occurring in the world. There are also moments of great beauty, courage, and expression of higher love. You are seeing now groups of African American athletes and their non-black colleagues kneel in protest at the worship of a symbol that is duplicitous at best, having come to symbolize freedom and equality for an elite minority and not the majority it was originally meant to serve. 
we view this not as disrespect on their part, for we see into their hearts, and note the bravery with which they question a system that claims to reward them but in fact punishes them with physical and psychological injury in a Roman gladiator-style contest, as it turns a blind eye to the unnecessary deaths of innocent persons of color. From the high heart, one island able to view their actions as grasping individual and group freedoms. An expression not of disrespect, but of their higher self's desire for the dismantling of an old oppressive system as the newer one, supported by these astounding energies, comes into place. They are in their way doing as the majority of humankind are doing now, requiring that what they experience, and even the air they breathe, be blessed with the kind of freedom that ensures dignity, safety, and respect for all. These are not simply momentary glitches in the old order. These actions and that of many others, such as the brave mayor of San Juan, Puerto Rico, and those within the Hollywood system coming forward to report the criminal actions of those in power there, requires a democracy that unquestioningly and consistently serves all, regardless of a person's ethnicity, beliefs, gender, or other social identifiers. In releasing and refusing the victimization placed upon humanity for so long, and in taking in through every cell of your being this astounding new higher light vibration, you are in fact becoming an entirely new race of beings. A higher race vibrationally, one in which the light of your soul's pulse is through all the more powerfully as each day you resonate more and more fully with the new light data and energetic waves pouring over your planet. And so we may now call you God men and God women, and not only the humans you have been known as for millennia. For why would you not recognize the incredible growth, grace, joy, and creative expression of your divinity, as it pours forth through every aspect of your new humanity, freeing you to be new earth beings of higher light and higher love? We bow to you, as always, dear ones. Do not be disturbed by the waves of change and the apparent disturbances and shocks they can bring, in any given moment. For none of this defines you. You yourselves are defining the moment, defining the earth, defining what many call the new human template. And we bless you and give thanks for all you are and are becoming in this glorious new day. We see and we celebrate the divinity within you. Namaste. We are with you, always. For information on the great onrush of light that reached the planet this past week, see RadiantRoseAcademy.com, Calendar, Ascended Masters Conclave 2017, and www.youtube.com, Title, A Great Outpouring of Light, Most Important Event to Your Planet Earth Begins on October 11, 2017. Channel Radiant Rose Academy, see links in description. Copyright 2017, Carolyn Oceana Ryan If you repost, please maintain the integrity of this information by reprinting it exactly as you find it here, and including the link to the original post. Thank you.